Yes, Matt. So, as you said, we downgraded Saudi Arabia to a stable in September, and that really reflected two converging themes. One was, of course, the attack on Saudi Arabia's oil facilities, which knocked out half their production and which caused us and many other market participants to reevaluate their vulnerability, their economic vulnerability, in light of the geopolitical situation. And the other aspect was, of course, the persistent fiscal deficits that we've been seeing, the upward trajectory of debt. And so recently, Saudi Arabia did release a pre-budget statement in October, sort of outlining the intention to sort of address these um, sort of creeping fiscal deficits with spending cuts of 3% per year up until 2022. Now that's of course going to be putting up pressure on, on, on the Saudi economy. And it's also going to be quite difficult given the, given the broader social context. So the first thing we will be watching on the, on, the, on the budget announcement today is, well, first of all, is this austerity push that was sketched out in the pre-budget statement, is that, is that going to be sort of set in stone in, in the 2020 budget? Christian, it's Hadley out in Dubai. Thanks again for joining us. I want to ask you to kind of read the tea leaves on this one. One of the topics here at the Arab Strategy Forum is, of course, the U.S.-China trade war and how that directly impacts Gulf Arab economies as a direct result of the fact that, for example, China is the largest foreign investor in the UAE. How do you read this? Well, I think the main channel through which the, the trade tensions still affect the Gulf economies is the oil price. And which does expect the oil prices to moderate from 64, 65 on average for Brent this year to 62.5 next year, and then further to 60 in 2021. And that is putting pressure on all of, all of the Gulf budgets, in particular Saudi Arabia. And it reflects, one of the things that it does reflect is weak uh, demand growth for oil um, amid sort of flatlining uh, uh, global economic growth. Hey everybody, it's Hadley Gamble from our new CNBC Middle East Bureau in Abu Dhabi. Thanks for stopping by. Now to watch more, you can try one of the videos that just popped up on your screen. And don't forget to subscribe.